Hey, Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica. I am going to be working on day two of the Base Pages collab video series. And today, the creator who is in charge of the prompt called Hidden is Dawn from Emerald Mama's Creations. I'll have her link below and I'll have a playlist to any videos that go along with this series and I am pre-filming this like a month ahead so if for some reason um, I switch up creators or she's not doing that then I will actually just put in the description the person who is um, in charge of today's prompt but I'm playing along as well on all of the days so we're gonna get right in and so you can see I have my little prompt list and so today is hidden. So that's always a super fun one in junk journals and I had an idea for something that I did a long time ago. So I think I'm going to just get started right here on this page. And I have some scrapbook paper but the main item that we need is some foam tape. If you don't have foam tape you can layer up like a few pieces of cardstock instead and then use adhesive and then like a policy envelope. So we are going to decorate this a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that you at least can focus on just the main construction, but since this is white, I wanted to add a little bit of stenciling. And so this part is obviously not necessary, but I'm just doing some random stenciling with this tree stencil that I have. We'll just call that good, just to add a little something. And then just ink up around the edges, like that. And you want the flap to be on the top, like this. And then you're going to need kind of like a belly band. So you want a paper that will be big enough to wrap around. And I'll tell you the measurement of my policy envelope. It is around six and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then my belly band is about 10 inches by three and a quarter inches, but really this can vary. You just want it to be long enough to wrap around. Okay, so this is going to be yeah, the main construction of this. So we're actually going to just go ahead and we can glue this all the way around, making sure not to get glue like on your envelope. You want this little belly band to be able to slide. Just make sure. Then we're going to take some foam tape I have a really large roll that I've been using for years. And we're gonna put one piece, I'm gonna actually cut this a little thinner because I don't need it that thick. And adding this dimension is just going to make it possible for us to slide this, which is going to keep our little hidden part hidden. <laughs> so we're gonna put one piece at the top and one piece down at the bottom. And that's also going to help so that this can't slide all the way off. So I am gonna go ahead and just uh, tape this down in our journal. And I really wanted this to be like, you know, the main, I wanted this to take up the whole page so that it was like a whole page situation. Okay, so go ahead and place this down just right in the center. So obviously since we have a little bit of tape at the top, you can still see that there's a flap and you can see that this is an envelope. The point is we're trying to disguise that this is an envelope so that you don't know there's a hidden pocket in here. And so I'm going to decorate just like the top half of this belly band. And I have just a few simple things here just to kind of demonstrate. And so one, I think I will I mean, you can still kind of see, but let's go ahead and we'll just layer some things on. So I have this doily. 
and I don't want it to stick out of my journal too much, but I don't mind a little bit like that. And again, I'm making sure not to glue this to the envelope at all. And I have this really fun mushroom sticker that has some butterflies, which kind of goes along with my butterfly scrapbook paper. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this down. I could add more, but I think I'll just down here add another little sticker, like a floral sticker. I have all these really pretty gold, gold plated uh, stickers. This is one of the most easy and quickest hidden sp journaling spot ideas that I could come up with. Some are pretty involved and I wanted this one to be real easy. I'm gonna, okay, there we go. So honestly, I mean, you can keep going, but again, I kind of want to focus on giving you base ideas that you can decorate and make your own. So this is what you do. So you flip, you know, you'll flip to your page and be like, oh, that's a cute little page, but you can pull that down. And then that's where the hidden little pocket is. So I hope that this was a fun one for you guys. So simple. I am going to go ahead and add a little tab here. And I think I'm going to use just this same little circle tab that I already used for the first one. And I will just put two hidden. And this is a sticker, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the backing off. So yeah, this was a very quick little layout and that is my whole plan for these um, layouts. All right, we'll put it right about here. I want it to stick out a little bit, but not too much. Okay, well, I hope that you guys liked. This was such a, yeah, I already said that so many times. Such a quick layout, but super fun, and you can get super creative with this, and I can't wait to see if you guys recreate this. Um, I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you soon. Bye.